Hey, so I thought I'd talk about um, these lipsticks that I've had for a while. I haven't seen it. It might be, there might be reviews on them. But, and I remember Candy Johnson, she was mentioning that she bought one of these lipsticks, but she, and she said that she might review it, but she didn't yet. So these are the um, Wet n Wild lipsticks, the cheaper one. And I just love, 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 love love these lipsticks as far as lipsticks go and I'm not a lipstick girl I usually do use the for forever lasting ones like from L'Oreal and whatever Max Factor that sort of stays the whole time that you put like another layer layer of the white thing on it but anyway first of all the colors are gorgeous so I have this one really dark one called Cherry Bomb oh my god it looks dirty sorry about that and this one it's like, look at it, it's so pretty. And it comes on and it just looks so good. So I bought a second one because I actually used, I tried it as like a blush slash bronzer as well and it's so good. I don't have very lip, good lips to show these lipsticks on but I just thought I'd talk about it anyway because they're so good because they're matte, like greeny matte and they just, I don't know, like dry in or something onto your lips without making your lips feel dry and just stay there as far as like lipsticks go and it doesn't say anything about like stay all day or stay for many hours it doesn't say anything about it and they're so cheap they're like they cost me like two dollars a piece i think they're like 1.99 or something like that i don't remember but they're not more than two dollars unless they've up the price now so wet and wild is like this cheap brand that do a lot of random stuff and i haven't bought a lot of their products but there are two things that i'm really happy about that i think should be talked about so this is the my favorite color which is called Mochalicious <laughs> okay so it's fall this is a good color for fall okay guys let's try this oh god I'm just so bad at putting on lipstick <laughs> why are you doing this you might ask yourself why is she doing this review then she doesn't know how to fucking uh, freaking apply makeup well because I just thought it's a free country it's a free YouTube world Like you can obviously use a liner, but you don't really have to. Like it's so it's so good. There and this will like this will last for a while. If you drink from a cup, of course it's gonna come off a little bit, but honestly it does stay on longer than I can't tell. A lot of lipsticks you can tell like right away when you've got sorry about my awful hair. You can tell right away when you've had a, one sip from a cup. How annoying is that? It's so annoying. If I were to make out with my hand. Mmm. -hmm. Disgusting makeup. Mmm. Okay, so it comes off, obviously, on the hand. But other than being smudged a little bit, I think it looks good. Go get it. Two bucks. Hello. So, this is a very dark one. Ooh, yeah. This does look like cherry. Like, or like, you know, the dark cherries, not like the cocktail cherries, like my nails. Oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. So I think you, you can actually build the color, so you can actually put another layer off on it and make it even darker. Can you see that? One stroke. Oh, bam! That's good, huh? Yeah. That's quite a lot of pigment, isn't it, for a cheap lipstick? There is no better lipstick than this. I don't think so. But I'm not a pro. But this is just my personal opinion. Look at these swatches. This thing from Wet n Wild as well is good stuff. They're H2O, meaning water-resistant eyeliner, which I'm wearing now. I pretty much only wear that one now because it does literally last me the whole day. And I like their brush too. Some brushes are just too stiff or too soft, too like thin or whatever. This is like perfect. It's matte. I'm going to try and wipe it off with the Neutrogena, which, it, which is supposed to get off waterproof makeup. And it is not the easiest feat. But of course you get it off. But I just want to like show you how difficult it actually is to get it off which means it stays that's what you want from a liquid eyeliner at least that's what I want 
Ta-da! Oh, it's all red. So, I hope that, um, that was useful to some people that do drugstore makeup as well as professional or just drugstore or whatever and who are looking for some good matte lipsticks and uh, uh, matte eyeliner which is waterproof because I think they're really good.